Hey everyone, so um, we have an amazing day ahead of us. I already know it. Um, we are at some amazing looking gravel. And look who's with us. It's Kate from Katie Did. And Mary, thank you so much for inviting us out. This is actually um, uh, river access on her ranch. So it's this is like untouched gravel and so I'm so totally excited. Special. Yeah, we are special, we're important. <laughs> no, not really, but <laughs> but I'm so excited to, to hunt this. So thank you, Mary. Thank you so much for bringing us out here, and let's see what the day holds. There's our first egg of the day. Well, not actually. I found one off camera, but there's another one. And I see something that I want to investigate. Mm, that's good looking shale right there. That might be a good sign of fossils. Okay, I love seeing these so very much. That is some crazy agonized wood. Wow, look how agonized that is. Wow. All right, I might tumble that one. All right. <laughs> you know I love these. You know I love these. Look how dark that little egg it is. That is absolutely stunning. Oop, there's a better face, I can already tell. Oh, you're good. Nursing home in Forsyth. Wow. So I dropped him okay, that's beautiful. Okay, I think I officially have the biggest agate of the day now. Ooh. Yes, that's a nice one. <laughs> that is super. Oh wait, what are we, what are we looking at here? Jasper shirt. Okay, but yeah, now we can look at this a little closer. That is gorgeous. Look at that. That might get cut when we get back to the shop. Look at this awesome awesome limb cast that Kate just found. That is so cool. I love seeing those so much. <laughs> Zarby, another really nice agate. Oh, I think Kate and I just picked agates up at the same time. Yeah, I'm already so happy. Okay, yours is bigger. <laughs> Mine is cooler though. Volume wise, they're probably similar. About the same. <laughs> All right, I think we got a really nice agate right here. Oh yeah, look at that water line. That is freaking stunning. <laughs> Man, we've like barely walked any distance. <laughs> We're finding such nice stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> oh wow. Oh man. That is absolutely amazing. I, okay, Montana gets don't get a whole lot better than that one. It's <laughs> so nice. Oh Oh my gosh, okay. All right, there's our first fossil of the day. Oh, look at that coral. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Um, we are very lucky to not have like any wind today, so I will swap to my other camera so I can get some close-ups in just a little bit. So it's really funny, we were literally just talking about banded shirt and I looked over and spotted this, <laughs> which is a very nice red and tan piece of banded shirt, so. All right, well, let's start talking about big agates. Maybe we're manifesting here. <laughs> okay, guys, I just found another agate. That looks really, really nice. Ooh. You guys, I need to replace the spray bottle so bad. I missed my my powered one. You know, it's so funny, because every time I saw them, I'm like, that's unnecessary. And then I got one, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'll never go back. <laughs> I need another one really, really bad. That is a nice agate. I am quite happy about that. Look at the big quartz pocket in there. That's cool. And then did you see what I was spraying right next to it? <laughs> Petrified wood. Ooh, that's like a perfect tumbler. Keeping that one. Check out that Jasper. That is beautiful. Isn't it Kava? Look at you. So I'm planning on doing a video with some of these on the second channel, probably semi soon. Cause they're so pretty. I love them. That is so cool. That is like, <laughs> it's chert, but it's it's so blue. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, I think I have to. <laughs> I cannot believe how many beautiful little pieces of agonized wood we're finding. Just perfect for tumbling. I think that is more agonized wood, I think. Actually, that might be a water line. Oh no, that's agonized wood, all right. Look how red it is. Wow, that is so pretty. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. I can already tell I'm gonna like this. Ooh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I think it's a jazz bag. It's so pretty. 
Love it. All right, I think we got a good one. Oh, wow. Look at the color on that one. That is a really, ooh, I see a bunch of moss down in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that one. Definitely going, ooh, hey, took one more step and then there's this. Yeah. Ooh, that actually has some intact crystals still. They never have any, and like usually they're so weathered that they're just all blunted, but I think that will actually have some good crystals. All right, now I see two things I wanna investigate. First, right here, that right there is a Jasper I cannot turn my nose up at. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. And then I think it's either quartz or an agate. Yeah, it's quartz. I don't quite know what I'm looking at. Um, wow, I think that is extremely agonized wood. Look how dark that is. That is beautiful. I see another one. Eh. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's got a nice flat face on the other side. Cool. Hmm. You a Jasper. Uh, ooh, I think we got a plume. Oh, this spray bottle. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a plume. Ooh, that is gorgeous. All right. There is our first Syringapora coral of the day. Oh, look at the texture on that one. That one is superbly preserved. That is awesome. Oh, what are you? Nothing. But what is this? Is that petrified wood? I honestly can't even tell. No, it's banded shirt, but it's weird. Doesn't look like there's much color separation. Huh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> right as I was about to say, I'm not going to keep that one. I am going to keep that one, though. That one's a little bolder. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. All right. I think I'm about to freak out. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Okay. Um... There we go. One sec. There we go. Oh my gosh. What? That is the nicest plume I've ever found. Wow. I have no words. That is unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna swap cameras, one sec. Look at this rock. Look at all the detail. That is insane. <laughs> I am so happy right now. So I just went down to the water to refill my spray bottle. I found something that was just completely covered in silt. It's starting to get it rinsed off and oh my gosh. Look at how colorful that stromatolite is. All right. I'm happy about that one. And I sure didn't make it very far before I found another rock I needed to clean up. <laughs> Let's see this one. It's so silty. So like, see, bottom, <laughs> top. <laughs> so silty. Um, I think we have something nice here though. I'm not gonna hold my breath. I don't know if it's as nice as it looked at a glance, but oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it is, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that. TSA. That is a huge TSA. Oh, look at the fortifications, all the color. That is fantastic. And I take two more steps. <laughs> look at you hiding away. Oh, okay. That just got quite a bit bigger. Ooh. That is super mossy. Sweet, that's a good one. I see some bands. That'll be a good cutter. Kava came over to talk to me and right where I stopped and looked up, I think that is a much larger, very, very nice piece of agonized wood. Ugh, thank you, Kava. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Wow, that is super agonized. Look how pretty that is. That might be an even nicer stromatolite than the last one. Wow. 
That is super colorful. I, I just heard, oh my gosh, what's this at the exact moment that I just stopped to spray this egg. <laughs> That's a nice one. All right, here's mine. Really pretty. What did you find? Whoa! <laughs> That oh is God. gorgeous. Like, let's, let's get that washed off. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Look at this bizarre little agate. I love it. And uh, call me crazy, I think I'm gonna try to excavate that inner layer right here. Cause look at the, there's bots in there. What are you doing, Tom? That's so cool. I think we have a very, very pretty Jasper right here. Oh yeah, look at all the lacy chalcedony in there. All right guys, check this out. Look at that TSA, Treasure State Agate. That is some beautiful fortifications. All right guys, I think that's gonna do it for, for this hunt. Kate's gotta get back to, to pick up Jim, but oh my gosh, thank you. don't you. want a mad mister. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Don't comes out. <laughs> Mr. Don't. Thank you so much, Mary, for bringing us out here. This has just been I'm such a blast. Seriously, cannot express how much I appreciate it. And thank you, Kate, for coming I'm with as well. Delighted. <laughs> it's been such a good day. So um, we're gonna get back to the shop, get everything cleaned off, and I think we're gonna cut some rocks. So I'll see you shortly. All right, we are back and we are gonna cut some of our rocks. So let's take a look at the rocks that we're going to be cutting and stuff. Okay, so these are the four we're gonna be cutting. I know, you don't see the big agate in there, do you? I am saving that one for the cutting video, which will be coming out hopefully next week, if not next week, the week after. Anyway, we've got these two agates, which are crazy looking, and I think they're gonna be really nice, but they're like complete solid nodules, so there's no knowing what the heck is gonna be inside of there, so we're just gonna cut these ones in half. We got this one, which is crazy. It's just covered in fortification patterns throughout the whole thing, so I'm thinking we're gonna get some wild, slabs out of that one. I mean, just look. Just look. There's so many. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. And then we've got this, which is our monster plume agate. So I think let's start with the agates. Let's do this one first, I think. Okay, first one's done. That is really, really pretty, actually. So I went ahead and cut one slab, just because I could. And it is uh, interesting, to say the least weird little quartz pocket in there. Here's the cutoff. That is really, really pretty. I wish it was a little less fractured, but hey, it's all good. Um, I might glue this to a board and cut slabs because I don't know. I don't know. Some of my bigger agates I've cut that have that quartz pocket, that's usually a good sign for iris, but it's so mossy. I might want to turn this one into some cabochons instead. So. I will probably cut this on my own time. All right, let's go load this one up. And there's that one. Where's my flashlight? There's my flashlight. Check this out. That, again, is just super mossy. It's so pretty. Gotta love it. Got one slab out of that. Look at all the turtle bags. All the moss in there. <laughs> that is really nice. And we got this, which is the rest of the rock. There is some really, really good scenic looking stuff in there. So yeah, um, again, for sure, probably gonna be cutting the egg and cutting the rest of this at some point. That is real nice, I like it. I think next, let's do this one. And I'm really struggling to figure out how I wanna load this one in. Um, let's do it this way, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see how it wants to load in, but I I don't know, man. It's gonna be tricky. Alrighty, that Jasper is weird, and it did not come out the way I expected it to, but I still really like it. <laughs> really nice red color up in here. There's like little itty bitty tiny fortification pockets. We did get into some of the fortification pockets um, inside the quartz. It's mostly just like white, but look at this. It's so weird. All of those little white clear streaks have fortification pockets inside of it. It's just strange. It's a weird Jasper and I like it. And then here's the rest of it. Looks like we were just getting into this fortification pocket up here. That's pretty different, very different from what I was expecting, but it's it's uh, it's pretty cool, <laughs> I like it. All right, last but not least, the time has come to cut this plume. Um, I'm gonna 
debate with myself on how I want to load it, and I'll be back. Okay, well, I can't show you the cutoff because it's still in the clamp, and yeah, it's just a big rock, and it's taking a long time, and I want to go home soon. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to show you some slabs. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking happy with this plume. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. There's so much chalcedony throughout the whole thing. And the closer you get, the cooler it gets. It's just amazing. Look at that. Yeah, um, I don't know if I've seen a, a plume from Montana better than this one. That is so freaking pretty. And every slab, you know, it's the same kind of brown, and orange, and yellow with the chalcedony. But every one looks different. Every single one of them is different, and I love it. And, um, yeah, there are certainly some cabs that are going to be coming out of these slabs. Oh, my gosh. It's so, so pretty. Well, I'm very happy I cut that one. <laughs> that is so freaking beautiful. Wow, what a nice one. Okay, here are some of my favorite finds of the day. First off, I wanted to show this Syringopora coral. I find these regularly, well, semi-regularly. It's a good day if you get one or two in a hunt. Anyway, though, <laughs> find them every now and then, and they're so cool. But this one in particular, look at how amazing the detail is on those polyps. So, so nicely preserved. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this one. I like cutting them. They're really, really cool when you cut them, but I don't know, this one's almost a better specimen. Other than the ones we cut, this is probably my favorite of the Jaspers. This kind of looks kind of pinky, right? Yeah, and then you start getting closer and there's just stuff going on everywhere. Clear chalcedony, all sorts of colors. Quartz pockets with smoky quartz. Roll it over. Get all the chalcedony winding around on that face. I don't know how deep they go, um, but I'm thinking I might want to cut this one. This might turn into some really, really, really pretty slabs. We didn't find a ton of petrified wood, but we did find this absolute beauty of a piece of agonized wood. You can barely even see because it's that agonized. <laughs> Look at, you can see it on the side really well. It's just a good day when you have a piece of wood that glows to that degree, like, yeah. It's just, it's just something to get excited about. Isn't that amazing? Speaking of insanely agonized wood, we've got this one right here, which yes, that is agonized wood. You get a light through it, you can really see the grain, which, um, yeah, I think I'm obligated to throw that one in a tumbler. And if one wasn't enough, we got another one. Oh, it's so pretty. So gorgeous. It's just a weird but amazing thing when you find a piece of wood that you can shine a light all the way through. And then these were some of my favorite agates. Um, this one right here. I definitely am coming in with the scribe and I'm going to see if I can break out this little inner ring right here because it has some amazing bots sitting right on top of that quartz seam. When I found this one, I loved it because of how dark it was. It's got some beautiful red color in there. Just super dark though. After getting it cleaned, um, yeah, it is so much nicer than I thought it was. Ready for this? Bam. Look at that banding. It goes all the way around on that face right there. That's so nice. Literally did not see any of that when I found it. Kind of really want to cut this one down further once we get a trim saw running. And of course, which would be a surprise to no one, this was absolutely my favorite find of the day. Actually, you know what? It's first place still, but I think that plume was, was a close second. I do love me some plumes. Look at this agate. I mean, Montana agates don't get better than that. <laughs> they can get bigger, but they really don't get better than that. There is just so much moss. There are so many scenes waiting to, to come out of this agate. So nice. And it's not small by any means. Look at this. It's a pretty big agate. Ah, 
It's so nice. It's so dark. Roll it over, it just looks black. It is just so dark. There's so much moss throughout the whole thing. I know I didn't cut it in this one, but I am definitely going to cut a layer off of it. I don't know how much I really want to though. I'll probably just come in, cut one face. I can use everything we cut off for jewelry and then I have a beautiful specimen. Definitely find of the day for me though. Oh my gosh, that thing is nice. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Man, what an amazing day. I think it's been a while since we found just, I don't know, I think we found numbers that equate, but Oh my gosh, just the quality. It's like every single thing we found was just phenomenal. <laughs> Needless to say, I am crazy excited to uh, see what this looks like cut. So um, keep your eyes peeled for the cutting video I keep talking about. That'll probably be next week, or actually probably not next week. It'll probably be the week after the next. Huge, enormous shout outs and thank you to Mary for inviting us out to hunt on her on her ranch because yeah, <laughs> hunting on the Yellowstone this year has been kind of rough. Uh, there's just so much silty rock that any little patch of clean gravel has been picked over several times over at this point. So being able to, to get onto that and find stuff like this, it just, it means so much. It's so very general, generous and it is immensely appreciated. So everyone down in the comments, tell me what fav your favorite rock was and uh, make sure you say thank you to Mary. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this one though. Man, what a good day. It was just so much fun, perfect weather. Everything was just great. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.